Can an artificial intelligence instantly recreate a better artwork than one of my best artworks that took me about four hours to make? Is AI art going to replace digital artists? Honestly, it's been eating my brain too, so let's find out. Okay, I'm gonna be using the two most popular AI art generators that I know called Midjourney and Dolly. Okay, let's see. Imagine Maldives in a distant future flying islands over floating rocks. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, flying ships and uh, concept art hyper realistic high resolution 4k daytime okay let's go i'm just writing all this because i've seen other people write those things as well okay let's see i just lost it okay here it is whoa this is crazy whoa this is actually not so bad but the clouds are looking like like a puffy balls of snow which is not what i wanted as you can see uh, it's not even close to what i was trying to achieve um for some reason uh it's showing the islands on a sea like in almost every image. This is not what I wanted. Um, let's try and recreate this a couple of times and see if we can get a better result. Okay, here's another um, result I got, but this is not what I wanted either. The closest it got, I would say, is with this one, I guess, because it has some clouds and, I mean, you can't say that it's garbage, it looks nice i guess it's good for uh, to create some concept art before uh, attempting to make a serious artwork so like a pre-visualization of what the end result or the final concept art is going to look like so this is like good for brainstorming and uh, idea generation Let's recreate this some more times and we can move on to um, like upscaling one of these. Okay, so this is another image that was recreated. I guess this one looks good. Okay, let's see some other artworks. I guess it's trying to make sense, but uh, some of the areas look really, really janky and very funny. Like, for example, this one. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Okay, so I tried upscaling this image because it looks kind of uh, close to what I am trying to achieve. So let me show you real quick how that turned out. Okay, so this is the upscaled version of uh, the, the picture that I showed you. As you can see, there are so many things that doesn't make any sense. I guess you can bring this into Photoshop and do some refinements if you want to make sense out of this. One other thing that I noticed was when you upscale, uh, it's trying to put details on areas that you don't even need, like on the sky. The sky doesn't get detailed. I mean, I can understand the clouds, but the sky? What is going on here? I tried again uh, with some more details and some more inputs uh, that I thought might help the AI to generate a better result, but it's the same outcome. The closest it got was like this one. So I'm going to upscale this and see what happens. Okay, so here's the upscaled version of that. Um, I have no idea what is going on here. This is supposed to look like an island. Like all, all of them are supposed to look like islands. You can see that I'm trying my best to give a, the best input uh, into the prompt, but the result is the same. This is getting me nowhere. So let's go ahead and check the other AI art generator. Okay, now we're gonna uh, do the same with Dolly. Let's type here island on 
rocks up in the sky, clouds around. I'm gonna try and change up the words this time. Flying ships, bridges, hyper realistic daytime. Okay, let's generate. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Okay, now this looks, this looks good. This looks close to what I am trying to achieve. It's not perfect either. So let's see each image separately, first of all. Okay, this is still not good. And it's trying to show me pictures of islands floating on a sea. I don't want that. Okay, this one is at least trying to create something close to what I wanted. But it's it's horrible. It's It's bad. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one looks good enough, I guess. But um, as you can see on the left, the islands are still on the water and that's not what I want. Let's try to create some variations of uh, this image because it's it looks close to what I wanted to achieve. Maybe it will give us a better result. Okay, it's giving us even horrible result than the original one okay let's try to create some variations of uh, this one because this looks close to realistic you can see some grass over here and uh, yeah we can i think we can m make some awesome variations of this Ooh, okay it's giving me results i mean it, it it's not bad just like i said before this one actually looks nice but uh, the bridge on the right side is it's not good this one also doesn't make any sense I mean, this one looks like somebody has used the clone stamp tool uh, while closing his eyes. Okay, this is the best we got. So let's try and edit some more areas of this image. I was told that Dolly can create some more areas of the same image. Okay, let's go to edit. And uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Razor. And let's select add generation frame and let's try and generate this part of the image okay it took me a while to understand how it works so you have to write here um, something that you want to put on the left side of the image so add some uh, C planes I guess C planes and hot air balloons with some more flying city okay generate Okay, what the heck? <laughs> looks like there's a dead seaplane. <gasps> okay, so we can change the result from here. There is no other best result than the dead seaplane. Okay, I don't want to make this video any longer, but as you saw, the AI can only pick up some ideas that you throw at it. And to answer the question if AI art is going to replace artists, my answer to that would be no, for many reasons. First of all, with the technology level that AI art is at the moment, I don't think it can compete with a good digital artist. And I'm not saying that it won't get any better. I might be wrong on this, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I mean, we have heard the term that machines will leave workers unemployed, but we have seen for the most part that machines actually make human effort easier. So instead of making a worker go jobless, a machine moves the worker to a different role of the same company. So the previous work no longer requires human effort. My point is, a good a digital artist will always be valued no matter how much AI art develops. It's up to us artists to learn these new technologies and be up to date with them and take advantage of them, really. Besides, I just can't picture a company owner firing their graphic designer and spending hours and hours generating AI art. He still needs the designer to generate them. He needs them to decide which artwork looks good for their brand and what is more trendy. Anyhow, I can go on and on with this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to become a citizen of the island of visual arts. That is it for me for today. I hope I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, salam.
Now that 